I was reminded this morning when I walked into the church how bright God's light is. There were no lights in the auditorium here. And without windows, this room is very dark. But I didn't have to turn any lights on because God had illuminated the building. And it came from the other end of the building. It came through the windows in the fellowship hall. The sun reflects off of the floor down the hallway and here's what you see. The bright light as God illuminates the room with his sunshine. My friend, our lives are like that. If we allow God to shine brightly in us, we're going to come to life. There's going to be a radiance about us as God allows us to shine brightly in this world. You can't make that up. You can't do that on your own. You've got to allow God to do that through you. And so I'm encouraging you today. Open your mind and your spirit. And allow God to fill you. Allow God to come inside and shine brightly through you. Jesus said in John chapter 7, that if you believe on him as the scripture said, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. It's God coming in, but then it's also God flowing through so that other people are impacted. When you open your heart and your life to the Lord, the Bible says you're like a city that's set on a hill. It can't be hidden. You're like a candle that's put on a candlestick and gives light to the whole room. God wants to use your life and illuminate you so that you can show other people that Jesus really is true. He's alive and he'll help them. When you walk in darkness, there's a danger of tripping and falling because you can't see the obstacles that are out there. But when you step into the light, when you allow God to illuminate your life, everything becomes clear. I've walked in this auditorium before, walked onto the platform without much light, and unfortunately one time I tripped over the, the monitor, the speaker that's on the floor, because it's black, it blends in with the carpet. You can trip on things when it's dark because you can't see them. My friend, this world is very dark right now. If there ever was a time we needed the light of Jesus to shine in our lives, it's right now. So ask God in. Allow God to fill you with his spirit. Allow God to illuminate your pathway so that you can see clearly. His word is a, like a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. God will help you today if you let him. Don't walk in darkness, but allow his light to shine in your life. God bless you. We hope you share these with others. And if you have a question or want to leave a comment, please do so below. Our website is also listed below, and there's also an avenue to give if you'd like to give to the ministry here in Syracuse. We're so blessed by the faithfulness of God and the faithfulness of God's people, and he's a great God. He will help you today, so let his light shine brightly within. Have a wonderful day. God bless.